President Donald Trump's budget is the collection of his campaign promises translated into dollars and cents. He comes out with a budget that does exactly that. And Washington goes apoplectic because they've very rarely seen a politician who comes to Washington and does exactly what he says he's going to do. The $1.1 trillion spending plan includes big league winners, like the U.S. military, which gets a 10 percent boost, the Nuclear Security Administration, the Department of Homeland Security and Veterans Affairs. There's one and a half billion in the plan to start building a wall along America's southern border. Another campaign promise the White House Deputy Press Secretary tells CBN News that Trump intends to fulfill. The president's made extremely clear from day one his priority is an America first budget and we've got to put national security at the top and forefront of that. The budget blueprint also includes some big league losers. That list is longer. The Environmental Protection Agency and State Department bear the bulk of the president's cuts, followed by agriculture, health and human services, commerce, education, housing and urban development, and the list goes on. Nearly 30 percent in cuts to the State Department includes a slashing of foreign aid, money the U.S. uses to help other countries economically. It's one of the cuts some top Republicans and faith leaders can't stomach. In a letter to congressional leaders, more than 100 evangelical and other faith leaders write, as people of faith, we cannot turn our back on those in desperate need. With just 1% of our nation's budget, the international affairs budget has helped alleviate the suffering of millions. Foreign aid is probably the single most wasteful uh, spending item in the federal budget. We've spent tens of billions of dollars over the last uh, 30 or 40 years, for example, on development aid to Africa. We all want to help people that are uh, poor or hungry in Africa, but there's no evidence that any of those programs have worked. President Trump's budget also completely cuts funding for the National Endowment for the Arts, along with the public broadcasting system and national public radio, something many Republicans have been pushing for years. I put myself in the shoes of that that steel worker in Ohio, the, the coal miner, the coal mining family in West Virginia, the, 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 the mother of two in Detroit, and I'm saying, okay, I have to go ask these folks for money and I have to tell them where I'm going to spend it. Can I really go to those folks, look them in the eye and say, look, I want to take money from you and I want to give it to the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. That is a really hard sell. In fact, something we don't think we can defend anymore. Mulvaney calls it a hard power budget designed to send a message to America's allies and enemies. All of these budget decisions come from the discretionary part of government spending. The administration will likely talk more about the real budget busters, Social Security and Medicare, in the future. Jennifer Wishon, CBN News, the White House.